So, right, what do they have to offer us next? Danan the Jungle Fighter. All right, this has the, the potential to be incredibly racist. Yeah, long ago in a distant land, blah blah blah, it's humanity ground, Gilba, strength born of pure hatred toward all things living, oh. Especially black things. Yeah, he was known as Arganan. I see, Arganan sealed Gilbas in the tomb from where he came. And I suppose that I am the... Inheritor of the will of Arganan or something? Danan the Jungle Fighter, yes. Uh, At least see. in this country, Danan makes yogurt. Hmm. Jimba. Oh, I smell a lawsuit. <laughs> I am Jimba, King of the Jungle. Apparently, Jimba is that white haired old man who is busy dying or something. They really I like dot dot dot. Die. It's like Final Fantasy VII. Ellipsis. <sighs> They went to the Golgo 13 voice communication school. <laughs> oh, no, no, come on, you can't actually have a ellipsis after an exclamation mark. No, that's, <laughs> uh, come on, <laughs> that's not how English works. And after a question mark as well? Come on. Oh, well, oh, oh, oh my god, look at how ridiculously buff I am. And I have this tiny, tiny dagger. I, I think that's some sort of comment on his <coughs> physical abilities. Yes. I also know he has red hair, which, you know, is so common in the, in the jungle. Oh, yes. This and fucking bats already. Yeah. I'm not sure if it was bats, actually. It might have been birds. If you wish to live, I suggest you go no further. Well then, I suppose I'll just go back then. Oh, hey, look at this. Our character actually speaks. Either going through the land of the Amazons, or going through very rugged land, a journey of ten days. Amazons just sounds more... Interesting to me, but... Yeah, I mean... But then again, I'm not sure. I mean, a guy that looks like him maybe doesn't fancy ladies at all. That could be, uh, and, you know, that is rugged land. Yeah, let, let's head over to the mountains of the Amazons and see. Uh, a shrine where you may find the knife of Wildcat. I see. To gain enter to the land of the Amazons, you must go through the door on the left. Wait. Hold on. Are you telling me that your hut is the... what? Border post between the land of the Amazons and the rugged land? That is pretty impressive. You're gonna need your passport from Fantasy Star. Oh no. I don't have any Mercedes right now. Uh, 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 oh, he automatically went out the left door. Well, that works. Oh my god, those actually are bats, and oh god, I think we met our first Amazon. Wearing an 80s uh, tennis Look at outfit, apparently. Check out those moves. Oh yeah, the muscle play of that back. This guy has been doing his deadlifts. Precision platforming and bats. Why am I not surprised? Oh my god. Ow, ow, ow. Super dick move, game. Super dick move. Oh. The moment you touch those platforms, they fall. Literally immediately. So you can't make it onto the far end on the first set of jumps. That is just... Wow. Douchebags. 
I love how it's always in like level 1-1 one, one of these games, you know, right when you start out. I could expect that on level 3. Found us some meat, and oh! Dropping spiders, why am I not so... Okay, um, hang on, how am I supposed to dodge those if I can't, literally can't actually dodge... Uh... My god, look at these input reading spiders! That's what all those eyes are for. Yeah, I mean, there has to be a trigger on the ground that activates the moment you enter the area. That's a big bow. Yeah, that is indeed a big bow. I will stab you with my humorously small knife. I know her arrows are like three times as long as your knife. And uh, what the? Apparently, I died, but I immediately had my life bar meter refilled and regained all my time. Huh. That's weird. I don't see a life indicator. Or any, I mean, there's obviously where it says life, but I don't see a number of lives indicator or whatever. No, it, I have no idea what happened there. Yeah, sure. Fire that arrow the moment I come up the ladder. Real fair and nice. Thank you. I wonder what those monkeys are that I keep picking up, anyway. Let's see, what happens if I press both buttons at the same time? Nothing? No oh! You get hit by a bat. There we go. This is actually a game that uses the start button again. Wonderful. So, uh, apparently I have some sort of animal power. <laughs> power of the armadillo to get run over by a semi-truck. Oh my god! I got a pet armadillo! But it went away. Oh. <laughs> I love armadillos. They are, the they are best kind of cute. Ones. Let's see, uh... How do I select a animal? I, need I would imagine you... <laughs> the monkey things are like, you know, on the scale of animals, and depending on how many you have, that's what you summon. Uh, yeah, that might be it. But I see no summoning meter, so to speak. That's what the thing beneath is. It's a summoning... Like, if you have three, you summon an armadillo. If you have six, you summon a bird. It might be, I suppose, but... Uh... Oh, well. It's not that it really matters at the moment. <laughs> Must find video game logic. In a game from 1990. Ha! Ah, I jump your arrow. And collect monkey. Not, Not very good bat. as archers. Though I guess it makes sense actually to have the archers in a in another, you know, hidden thing firing out of windows. It's just they don't actually happen to fire out of windows. Mm -hmm. Also, these Amazons seem to be. Oh, what do we have here? Did I manage to find the knife of wildcat there, or? Oh, I have the knife of panther now. Wonderful, and apparently I am also level three. And I accidentally activated the armadillo. Alright, um... <laughs> yeah, well at least now I know how you activate the armadillo. Accidental armadillo is a good name for a band. Let's see, alright, I can't continue to the right. My new knife of panther one-shots Amazons at least, that's good to know. If you know what I mean. Oh, what we have here. Right, uh, yeah, who am I? I am Danan, the jungle fighter. I like how knives are apparently the only weapon our friend Danan will allow himself to wield. Bows, fuck that. Swords, pfft, that's for faggots. 
A real man has huge bulging biceps and a tiny tiny knife. To and meet with me, you must her. fight me first. Right, so uh Oh my god, she's a teleporting sorcerer. Oh, that's a girl? Yeah. Oh, she I, does. I, okay. I, uh, oh. And back to the title screen. Well, that was quite enjoyable, really. Yeah, it was a pretty decent game, really. I, I was, I was positively surprised. It had upgrades, a little bit of RPG thing, decent platforming, bats, armadillos. Armadillos, that is in fact very important, yeah. We can't forget the armadillos. Thank you, Danan. <laughs>